Hi guys, welcome to Tune Basics, the series that teaches you how to play the basics. Today, we'll be taking another look at that famous sea shanty, What Shall We Do With A Drunken Sailor? And how to play it on a tin whistle. Here is a penny whistle. This penny whistle is in the key of C. But don't worry if yours isn't in the key of C, because for this lesson, it is the finger holes that are important. When holding your penny whistle, remember that your left hand is positioned closest to your mouth and uses fingers 1, 2, and 3 to cover holes 1, 2, and 3. The right hand is positioned so that fingers 4, 5, and 6 can cover holes 4, 5, and 6. For these lessons, when you see a blue arrow pointing into the mouthpiece, this means blow gently enough to still produce notes. When you see a red arrow pointing into the mouthpiece, this means blow a bit harder to produce a higher note. So let's get straight into it. Here's what Drunken Sailor looks like when it's written down in the key of C. And here is how it sounds. A, 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 D, F, A, G, 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 C, E, G, A, 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 B, C, D, C, G, A, F, D, D, A, 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 D, F, A, G, 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 C, E, G, A, 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 B, C, D, C, G, A, F, D, D. Let's take a close look at phrase one. Put finger one on hole one and soft blow seven times. Put fingers one to five on holes one to five and soft blow once. Put fingers one to three on holes one to three and soft blow once. Put finger one on hole one and blow once. And practice this until you end up with something that sounds like this. For phrase two, put fingers one to two on holes one to two and soft blow seven times. Put fingers one to six on holes one to six and soft blow once. Put fingers one to four on holes one to four and soft blow once. Put fingers one to two on holes one to two and soft blow once. And practice this until you end up with something that sounds like this. For phrase three, put finger one on hole one and soft blow seven times. Uncover all the holes and soft blow once. Fingers one to six on holes one to six and hard blow once. And put fingers one to five on holes one to five and hard blow once. And practice this until you end up with something that sounds like this. For phrase four, Put fingers one to six on holes one to six and hard blow once. Put fingers one to two on holes one to two and soft blow once. Put finger one on hole one and soft blow once. Put fingers one to three on holes one to three and soft blow once. Put fingers one to five on holes one to five and soft blow twice. And practice this until you end up with something that sounds like this. For phrase five, put finger one on hole one and soft blow four times. Put fingers one to five on holes one to five and soft blow once. Put fingers one to three on holes one to three and soft blow once. Put finger one on hole one and soft blow once. 
and practice this until you end up with something that sounds like this. For phrase 6, put fingers 1 to 2 on holes 1 to 2 and soft blow 4 times. Put fingers 1 to 6 on holes 1 to 6 and soft blow once. Put fingers 1 to 4 on holes 1 to 4 and soft blow once. Put fingers 1 to 2 on holes 1 to 2 and soft blow once. And practice this until you end up with something that sounds like this. For phrase 7, put finger 1 on hole 1 and soft blow 4 times. Uncover all the holes and soft blow once. Put fingers 1 to 6 on holes 1 to 6 and hard blow once. Put fingers 1 to 5 on holes 1 to 5 and hard blow once. And practice this until you end up with something that sounds like this. Now phrase 8 is exactly the same as phrase 4. So let's try putting all the phrases together. And there you have it. And remember, if you're the type of person who prefers learning the tin whistle using tabs, you can check out my tabs page. There's a link in the description below. And until next time, stay tuned. Hi guys, just wanted to say a big thank you for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, don't forget I've got a store on Amazon. There's a link in the description below. Uh, if you're looking for a new instrument, that would be a good place to start. Uh, also, I've got links in the description to lots of other things like my Facebook account, my Instagram, my Twitter. I'd love to catch up with you guys there. So uh, until next time, stay tuned.